Hi, Christ Lutheran Family of Faith. Uh, you're all in our prayers as uh, you maneuver your way through our life routines during these days of the coronavirus. You know, it's definitely uh, been different up at Christ Lutheran as well. In fact, I'm doing something I told my kids I would never do, and that's uh, using a selfie stick. Can you imagine that? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing something new here too. I, I told them I'd never text either. I'm doing that. So, uh, but above all, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. Um, you know, we're, we're so very blessed as a congregation um, to have so many people willing to serve others in so many different ways. And, and each of you are really a part of that, whether you realize that or not. Um, you know, I'm on a Friday uh, afternoon after getting home here uh, because uh, we've been live streaming for some time already. You know, Christ Lutheran was in a position to, to really help other congregations uh, benefiting from Cliff Hatfield and all his knowledge on that. And then Emily Wigert on her work on the website. She probably didn't realize it, but others have been able to copy, you know, what she's done there to, to help some of our other churches, uh, you know, get uh, up to speed pretty quickly. You know, so how are we serving? You know, there, there's just so many different ways that we do. Uh, a number of our ladies like uh, Peggy Candice and Manit, you know, they figured out a way this past week to make masks out of material for one of our local hospitals. Um, you know, all the ladies who help with quilts, you know, I just got back from delivering uh, another stack of quilts to Perry Volunteer Outreach here just a little while ago. And, uh, you know, when I was walking in the door, there was a guy who was sleeping outside tonight, and uh, I was able to give him a quilt. And then I get inside, and here is a single mom, 18 years old, just had a baby who uh, uh, asked for a quilt, and so, you know, just right there, in two minutes, two quilts are gone. You know, so those things get used by people in need, and uh, thanks to our ladies who, who make that available as well. Uh, you know, last night we had a blood drive at church, and it was really in question about, uh, till about an hour before it started, because Red Cross was having trouble having enough staff, um, but uh, they sent minimal staff, and we uh, were able to collect 26 units of blood uh, probably about as many as we've ever been able to do. Uh, so thanks to all those who, who came out for that as well. And then, um, you know, we're not having Mueller's table uh, these weeks, but again, we're able to provide food for some of those folks, same folks who come um, to, normally would come to our Friday meal. We're able to bring food to them. That's my uh, wife's timer going off for dinner tonight for Renee. Um, you know, in that regard, um, you know, it was personally touching to me also uh, this past Sunday. One of the folks we normally pick up on a bus on Sunday mornings, um, he rode his bike to church to come and take communion on Sunday morning. Rode five miles uh, because they said uh, they needed it. You know, that's all of you make those kind of things possible. Um, so, so thanks. You know, our officers shared a little letter uh, when all this coronavirus stuff uh, started and asking for your prayers and your support. We kind of knew how that was going to turn out. Folks at Christ Lutheran have always responded to those kind of things. And, and so we want to thank you for your generous support as uh, we undergo a very different time in our congregation's life. Um, so, you know, uh, thank you for, for all that you do. You know, what are we going to do for Easter? You know, I've been asked a few times, uh, well, if we're allowed to meet, you will see one of the most amazing Easter celebrations ever. Uh, if things continue as they are, um, our church officers and elders are probably going to meet this next Tuesday by teleconference and just talk about, uh, you know, alternative plans. Uh, so thank you for your prayers. Uh, thank you for your support. I get plenty of thank yous from other people for what we're doing for them. And so I just wanted to pass them along to each and every one of you. You may, might feel like, hey, I'm not doing much. Well, you remember this greater family faith, and it takes a large group of people to do some of these things. Uh, so do take advantage of our live stream Bible study on Sunday mornings. We're going through the book of Philippians. And, and most definitely listen to our worship as uh, we talk through God's word about, you know, what God has to say about these times that we're going through because um, other people in the Bible went through plagues too. You know, we mentioned that here. So have a blessed weekend as, uh, and as we normally say in our worship, may the Lord be with you.